I remember a guy that had more talent and played on the team that that uh, uh, and he was. A, I think he played for Marty's too, didn't he? Well, he was on the team. He was on the team with with McDavid. Was he? I didn't. Know, I didn't know that. He had more. He had more talent. As far as I'm concerned, he had he, of all the guys we've seen. I think he had the most talent of anybody. Yeah, and you know we, when watching him, and well, I think we should mention his name. Dad, people know who it is. It's Joshua Hosong, and he's over in Sweden now. Um, and he had as much talent as McDavid at the time. Like he could handle the puck. I thought he good. had more. He could skate. He could turn. He could score. But he just he had a bad attitude. And he, he could just see that he just... But he was good, Tim. He, was good. I, he looked like he could go through the team and score anytime oh, he wanted anytime to. Anytime he wanted to. And then, and then but, you know, he, he, got, he had a bad reputation. And I remember him uh, blasting a puck at a little goalie's head yeah. with about two minutes to go, and they're up 10 nothing, and he was screaming at the referee. And, you know, and I remember talking to the scouts. And I, I remember talking to the scout who was picking third and he said to me he says McDavid's going number one he says I hope to goodness that whoever picks second takes a song because I don't want to take him but he was that good that you yeah, had to, he was right? good and and then you look and and you know he got drafted by the Islanders first round and you know and Gar Snow wasn't it Gar Snow took him he took a lot of heat for taking him because of his reputation and um, and not you know like not off the ice and everything just you know not uh, he just did he, he just, just didn't conform as they say to the hockey okay. laws and then his first day so they said to him you know you're going to come to training camp we're going to put you with Traveris with the Islanders at the time and he showed up late for training camp his first day and they sent him home well they waved him out of the league this and now year. they waved him out of the league and out of the 29 teams nobody's gonna nobody's gonna take a a flyer on him and it's just you know but he's not the only guy you you hate to say ryan merkley you know he had a funny attitude and he's just not you you know i I, it's one of those things i really think that hockey and i do think baseball to a thing hold their players to a very high standard well like the guy flopping on the ice for the buffalo uh quarterback flopping on the ice or flopping (laughs) flopping on the the field yeah and he got but like in baseball, if you do stuff in baseball and you go up to bat, yeah, you expect you expect you're going to get a fastball at you. Well, I we, I know we're talking about Hosong, and I know he's in Sweden, but I hope he I if he ever gets if he ever gets straightened out, if he ever, I, yeah, I, I I do feel sorry for him because it's such a waste. I mean, he he is good at that time. At that time, when you go oh, and you're going, oh well, you're exaggerating. He was good as McDavid. No, it was it was he was. He was I, I bet you at then if you had a race. He would have beat McDavid yeah. in a race, and I think if you did like you know stick Allen through the through the cones, he would have beat McDavid sixth through the cones. But well, I hope he straighten. I hope he gets straightened out over in Sweden. Maybe that's all he needed. And once he gets over there, he might get straightened out over there. He might. Uh, I hope he does because I'll tell you something, boy. He was a great young hockey player. Yeah.